Hello, here's Quist, and today we are playing Targi, which is a male person from the Tuareg tribe. And it's a game from Andreas Steiger from Cosmos Seaman Games for two players only, and it takes about 60 minutes. It's a yeah, it's kind of a worker placement game, but not in a traditional meaning. Um, you have this layout on the board, um, five by five, and the edge tiles here are always the same in the same order. But it, those in the middle, there are good cards and tribe cards. Um, they always start with five good cards and four tribe cards, but they are random dealed out, randomly dealt out, dealt out. The goal of the game is to get the most victory points, as usual. The, these are indicated by these silver amulets here. So if you um, get this card here, you get one victory point. If you get this card, you, you get this card and one victory and it's always also worth one victory point. And um, it's kind of a worker placement game because you have three workers but the interesting thing is you have to place the workers on one of the edge tiles and then the opponent places one and it goes back and forth until all three workers are placed and then you can do the actions on the on the cards you placed and on every intersection of your own um of your own targi or your own workers. So if you place one here and one here, you can get here this good and this good and this action and you can also claim this tribe card because it's the intersection of both. This game takes um not sure how many rounds but there is a robot piece which travels along the edge and when it's reached this spot, the game is over. Um, there are also additional rules how you can play it. So on the the robber spot is uh, the robber always occupies one spot which you can't put a worker down. You also can't put down a worker on the opposite side of your opponent's worker. So if one worker goes here, your opponent goes here, you can't go here. So you can really block your opponent, which is really a key uh, thing in this game, to block your opponent, what he wants to do. And But you can go on the opposite side of the robot, that's no problem. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. You can go, but you can go on the opposite side of your own worker but then you only have then you have one intersection less so at the most you can get five actions three of the workers you put down so let's say here here and here and then you can also get at max two intersections this would be here and here so these five actions you can take but if you put one on the opposite side and then for example here you can only get this intersection and if you put three workers here, here and here, then you have no intersection, that's normally not what you want to do because then you could only get these three things. So there are three goods, there are dates, salt and pepper and there's gold. Gold is really important because most of the tribe cards, these are these there are which are worth victory points and give a special ability and that is a symbol here. Um, um, these two type are most of them cost gold. As you see, this one, this one costs gold. This you can pay with gold or with these goods. And this one costs no gold. So, yeah, then you, there are good cards which just give you a victory point right off the bat. 
let's see what the other actions do so here you can get date uh, you can get salt if the robber goes here um, you have to pay one good or one victory point this action um, but you can't go there it's just for the robber when he travels along the edge um, if you go here you can travel three of the same goods for a gold or two of the same goods to get a different good then the robot goes here later and you have to pay two goods or one victory point then there is the Fata Morgana which me means that you can put one of your actions of the intersection to a different one which can be really uh, powerful if you want to go to a certain spot but your opponent already blocked you then you can go on the Fata Morgana and hope that he doesn't go on the spot because if he doesn't occupy that you can put one of your pawns of the intersections to this unoccupied spot. Then there's a silversmith where you can trade two of the same goods for one victory point or four of the same goods for three victory points, one gold for two victory points or two gold for four victory points. Then if the robot goes here you have to pay three goods or two victory points. Here's the caravan where you draw one of the good tiles, as you, these are left as you can see and this might give you also gold but it's random, you don't know what you get and here this is the same thing with tribe cards, you draw one of the tribe cards and if you can pay it you can put it in your, in your tableau and in the end you have to pay one gold or lose three victory points every time you claim a tribe card you can and you can, can't pay it or don't want to pay it but that's if you can pay it you normally want it so if you can't pay it you can also put it onto, into your hand you have room for one card in your hand and if you can pay it later you have to go on this noble spot which is occupied in the first round and then you can uh, with the noble you can either decide to discard the card if you don't want it anymore or you can't get rid of it otherwise or just pay the resources and pay the goods or, and put in your tableau at the end the person with the most victory points wins all of the points you get for example from the silversmith gets counted these from the cards you get here and from all the um, tribe cards but you have to also pay attention how you put your tribe cards onto your tableau you um, you have place for your room for three rows of four cards and if you manage to get four tribe cards in one row with the same symbol for example this well or what this is this lake um, for example all f uh, four of them in the same row then you get four additional victory points so this can be really powerful and if you manage to get four different tribe card symbols in a row you get two additional victory points so you have to also take to into account where you put your tribe cards and which one you get to put it um, every time you take a good card it gets replaced with a tribe card and every time you take a tribe card it gets replaced with a good card with a good card so that's basic the rules so let's ha see what we are going to do um, I hope you can s read that so here we have at the end of the game we score one additional victory point for every two cards Tagia which is the female Tuareg which is this symbol in your display this just gives you two victory points this you can place your target meeple on the field occupied by the robber which is really powerful if you get it early because uh, you can um, yeah uh, you, the robber doesn't hinder you to go where you want to and for every for playing further target cards you pay one good less which is also very powerful if you get it early 
so I'm inclined to get one of these two. If I get this one, it's also fine because it doesn't cost gold. So I think I go here to get one of those two uh, tribe cards. I can't probably pay this because I take one of these tribe cards, so I don't think I want to go there. I'd rather get a pepper, so I put it here. And this is my turn. So my opponent gone, has gone on the caravan. I think I want this one, which means my opponent can get this one, but I'm not too worried about it. So I go here. So he went on the Fata Morgana spot. Not sure what he's trying to get. But I can't get this now, and so I think the best other option is probably this. So go, I go here. So now I can activate those in any order. So let's get the resources first. Did I get everything? Yeah, this one. And I would want to pay, let's put it first here. And I want to pay with this because gold is much rarer, resources are much easier to get. Alright. Okay, let's see, my opponent got this well card. And at the end of the game, you score one additional point for every two cards Targia in a display. I'm going for Targia, so I'm not worried about that. And he go was uh, he went on the Fata Morgana spot. So she's probably going for this other well card, and this is nice because I want this Targia card. So I'm thinking I'm going here. Could also go on this tribal expan expansion card. Do I go on the pepper or the tribal expansion? Well, I need. S uh, I can't pay this. I need salt. I can worry about this later. And the problem is, uh, if you uh, are, if you have ten more than ten res uh, goods at the end of your turn, you have to discard down to ten. I think I go here. So he went there, so he gets this tile, this card. Um, during robbery you, don't, robbery, you don't have to pay. Oh, I totally missed that. That's a really good um, card to have. Yeah, that's really good. But he also blocked me from every salt. I can't get salt now. So I can't get this card. I think I have to go on the caravan now. And hope to get salt later. So, here's the only option. Here's where I wanted to go anyway. Let's just hope that the caravan gives me silver. Uh, gives me salt, so I go here on the silversmith. Alright, so let's hope for salt. Gold is really good, but not what I hope for. Let's get the pepper. And now I have gold, and I can buy this. And, yeah, put it in. And let's see, my opponent, yeah. This is a row probably where I have different ones when my opponent gets the wells. So I can't buy this. It's unfortunate. I have six, six pepper. I think I s use the silversmith here f and get three points. And this I don't can't get, but I don't want to. I can put it in my hand. Yeah, it's better than not doing it. Alright, that's my move. My opponent got the well and he doesn't have to pay for robbers anymore. Alright. So it's my move again. And there are only goods here and a gold. So I certainly want the gold. I think I go on the Fata Morgana spot here. Because even if my opponent goes here, I can get the gold probably. So yeah, that's good. 
I just noticed that I made a huge mistake because I could pay for the Targa cards for one good less because I have this card and I think I could have paid the card in, uh, directly. This is really unfortunate and yeah, that's sad. Also I don't have to uh, forget that I can put my Meeple on the place of the robber, although I would really like to go for the Fata Morgana because of course he denied me um, the gold here. So uh, still I think I like to go... Hmm. No, I think I go here with the Noble because I can pay it right. I pay one good less and I don't have salt but I have dates and pepper so yeah let's go here. So then I think here are two resources, the other one only gives me give me one, so I think I just go here. Okay, let's get the resources first. This, this, and this. No! No 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 no. Uh reset. This and this, then use the Fata Morgana to go here and get the gold and then use this to play this here now I can save one good um, I think I save one pepper because um, it costs me both of them ah and then this card gives me one free goods, one gold or one victory point. I think I get one gold because gold is very important. So I think I get a gold. And this is my move. So now the first robbery is occurring. And let's see what I want. Here's another Targa card that I really, really want. It has the day, two salt, and two pepper. So I probably want to get rid of the date because I don't need it for that. And then I only need one of salt and pepper to get this card. If he, my opponent doesn't take it from me. So I'm probably going to the Fata Morgana spot again if I can. Oh, so he went on the Fata Morgana spot. That's where I wanted to go to get this Targia card. Um, I think I have to go here or here now to make it harder for him to go here if he wants to take it away from me. So I... Mm, tribal expansion. Do I have enough resources to, to get a random tribe card? Uh, it all depends what else do I get. I have certainly enough coins and one of each other good. Yeah, let's try it. He went on the caravan. Um, yeah, he has two of those palms. So I think I might grab that away from him. Because it's cheap, it's only giving me one victory point, and I get one additional point if I have two cards well. I have one card well, so maybe if I get a second one, it's another victory point for me. Um, Silversmith I don't want, so I go here. My opponent went on the salt and probably gets... No, he has no gold, so he can't get that. That's nice. Ah, oh, he... Mm, he couldn't get this either, so it was not that important to block that. Well, I get go now here, so because I need more resources, so let's do that. So sadly, he took the target card from me. Uh, so I'm hoping now I get two more of them. Alright, so let's get the resources first. This one, this one, and this one. And then hope for the tribal expansion. Something good. 
well card. And the sad thing is the if I buy this, I can't buy this one. But I think I rather want this one. Mm. But both have two well cards. It's really unlikely that that uh, someone gets four of them. But it's three points. Yeah, let's let's play it. And. I don't want to take this card. And I can't, right? Um, I only pay less for Tagia cards. I always forget that I can place on the robber field if I should uh, ever be in that situation. Yeah, so let's finish. Move. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's the last one. Yeah, finish the move. And right there is. I go again for the next round. Let's see what there is. Um. There's a well card, and but I need salt and pepper. He can't get it either because he has no golden pepper. Salt and pepper. I can get on the rubber rubber field and get this one, which gives me salt and pepper. So I think I go here and then go here. Yeah, that sounds good. So the other player went on the caravan to certainly block me to get this right away. That was very wise. So I think I go here to get pepper and salt to get this card. So my opponent went here, so he can get this card. But he probably doesn't have enough resources to buy it. Um, I can go here and get this one. It's very cheap. Only gives me one victory point though. And I can exchange goods at the merchant for one to one, which can be really useful. So I think I go here. Oh, let, let me see, I can also go here, the same cost, and it gives me two victory points. And if you use the action Noble to put your hand card, hand or card into, hand card into in your display, you use one good less. I think I get rather get two victory points, so I go here. Um, I can pay it, right? Yeah, so let's do that. So, let's see, I get the salt and the pepper, and I can buy this one, put it in this row, and I think I want to move this here, so activate this one, move this one here, and then buy this one and put it in this row. So what exactly was it? Um, if I get noble, I have to pay less. No. If you pay one good more than required, you are allowed to play one card from your hand without using the optional. Ah. Yeah. That. I didn't do that, but yeah. And I can pay one good less if I have a card in hand and use the noble. Alright, that's my move. Alright, he went on the Fata Morgana spot. Always a good move for the first turn. I think I want one of those cards. They're pretty affordable, so I think I'll go here. 
So he goes here. So sadly I want one of those cards. This one doesn't cost gold and gives me additional good uh, additional point if I have ten or more cards in my display. I certainly want to achieve that, so I think I rather want this card. Uh, in the off chance he doesn't block me here, I think I get go here so that I have two dates that I can get. Um, although here are probably better goods in there. It's nearly 50-50 chance that I get dates, but mm, I'd rather take the safe route also I can get gold there. But yeah, I think it's okay to go here. He certainly wants that card, but I'm not worried about blocking it because he doesn't have gold. So, yeah. so I go here. Alright, my opponent saw what I was trying to get. So he went here to block me. What I noticed that next turn there's a robbery and I need two resources to pay, otherwise I have to pay one victory point. So I want to go in a space where I get the most um, resources, so this would be here, I guess. Okay. So my opponent bought this card. If this card is placed on the rightmost space on a full row at the end of the game, you score two additional victory points, which he didn't. So let's see what I can get. I can get this resource, this resource, this resource, this resource, and this card, which I put here. So I score an additional victory point of, if I had 10 cards. I already have 7 at the half of the game, so this is nice. And I have enough to pay 2 resources without losing a victory point. So let's finish this move and pay two resources. Let's see what there is. I want to keep the date for that or for that. Uh, for playing further ten cards, you pay one good less. Oh, okay. It comes a little bit late, but that's still nice. Okay, so I pay these two finish my move and that's my turn. So I want certainly one of those tents. Um, oh I wonder where the this card went but he put it in hand. Alright. So I certainly want he can't pay this because he has no gold. The gold spot is certainly a good spot so I'm I can pay this already and I want the gold uh, or at least deny him from him so I think I go here and if he blocks this I'm just getting the gold if he blocks the gold I'm getting this alright so he goes here and blocks me to get gold the good thing is I can go on the robot sp spot, robber spot and get the gold anyway because there's f uh, he blocks the Fata Morgana spot but he probably um, gets this card instead which is very really unfortunate because that would be my fourth 10 card uh, but, uh, but let's see I definitely want this card and more resources is good so let's go here So he goes for the 10 card, that's unfortunate, I really wanted it myself. Um, I think I got on the Fata Morgana to get the gold. Cool, so let's coll collect everything. This one, this one, uh, this card, I want to put in this row. And here I want to move this to here and collect the coin. New round, and yeah, I certainly want those two Targia cards. I certainly want the gold. And my opponent certainly wants this Oasis card either in that row, or he can put, even put it in this row and get two additional points. So I think I go here, block him from the Oasis, and have a shot of both these cards. And yeah. 
because if I go here, I have the date that I can, that I need to get this card. So that's pretty good. So the other player went. Not sure here or here, so he prevents me from having a coin for sure. But I'm really sure I wanted that Targa card, so that's nice that I can get it. I can get the date, and I have the pepper already. I have the coin. That's three victory points, and I'm closer to getting four more victory points for this row. So let's see. I only have basically this row open. If I go here or here, I only get um, one uh, section in the middle. So I think I go on the Fata Morgana. It's nice that it's still open, so maybe I can get this gold. Or he probably takes this card away from me uh, without buying it. So I'm probably not getting that, but still I think Fata Morgana is the best option. So let's see, I will take this one, and take this one, then I buy this third Targia card. Oh, I have to cost one less, I've always for... No, undo this one of course. And then I think I get the gold instead, so I use this one to take the gold instead. And now a well card and a Tagia card came up and I can't pay both. Here's not a gold. If I get these three cards, and it's not possible in one turn, but I want these three cards here. So I'm pretty sure I get go here so that I can get one of those cards for sure. Put one gold from the supply on this card. If you later pay a card that costs gold, take this gold. Oh, if I buy this first, put one gold from the supply on this card. If you later, yeah, then. Ah, no, I need the gold still. So I, if I get the gold back, but I need the second gold still. But interesting. So yeah, I go here. So he blocked me from the Targa card and has a chance of the gold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going here to get my fourth well card. He probably gets the gold, but I still think that this is the right choice here. Alright, so he got the gold, that's expected. So I think I go to Fata Morgana to get the Targa card in hand. So let's get the resources here and here and pay this in this row and then get the Targia card. So th this one. What says? Put one gold from supply in this card if you later play a card. It costs gold, take this gold. Yeah, so if I understand this correctly. No, I can't put it here? I can! So, I guess I understood this wrong. Um. I thought I have to still pay a gold and then I get the gold back, but I guess I, it means that I don't have to pay the gold. That is very nice. So I'm way in the lead. I only have one spot left here and there are still three rounds left. And now I have to pay free resources. I, I have free resources, that's nice. So yeah. I was just about to pay my free pepper to pay for the robbery, but I just noticed that I forgot that the game ends when the robber goes on this spot, but also when one player has 12 um, tribal cards here. I, f I forgot about that, so 
uh, as I'm in the lead, I think I rather pay two uh, victory points and rush to get one of those travel cards because, especially this one, I have the two pepper already and uh, for Tagia cards I pay one less, so I need one of those resources uh, still and then I am able to get this. So I think, yeah, I think I pay three res. Eh, uh, no. Uh, two victory points. I just clicked on the wrong thing. Um, and try to get this card here. Yeah, I, I like that. So it's unfortunate he goes first. He blocked me already from getting this Tagia card. I have now two options. I go here to at least get the date the, and block him from getting the Tagia card. So that I can later go to Get, go on the Fata Morgana and get the card, or get on the Fata Morgana first. But if he goes here, he gets the card, and which is really unfortunate. But let's see, can I get one of those cards then? As well, I go here, so then he goes there, then I can go here and block him from getting this card. Yeah, and then I only need to go here for my last one. Which he can't go on. So I think going on the Fata Morgana first makes the most sense. So he went here to get himself the Oasis card. But if I go here, this should be basically the win for me. He can't take this card away from me and I have enough to buy it for myself which is my 12th card and the win. I just noticed that my opponent probably gets both Oasis cards which scores him 3 plus 4 additional points, it's 7 points so it's at 29 while I only scored 2 points, 34 so I'm still 5 points in lead but I'm not sure what I sh uh, may have missed so it's closer than I thought not sure what I can do with my third meeple here, my third worker. Probably go on the tribal expansion card, maybe I draw a 10 card that I can play so that I can score for additional points. It's probably the best. So, my opponent got a lot of points, he is at 29 because he played these two oasis cards. But I still think I win here, so let's get the dates and let's get a salt let's draw one because why not So discard and then move this here and then buy this one and let's save this, this doesn't matter finish my move and game over I won 34 to 29 thanks for watching as always I hope I could show you this game well, how you have to think about your own board and also your opponent, how to block your opponent, what he needs, is very interesting. So thanks for watching, leave some comments as always, see you soon, bye.